I've created my own wa wallpaper filled with LDS leaders who represent a puritanical form of oppression. Or, to quote lyrics from Panic at the Disco, this is gospel for the vagabonds, ne'er-do-wells and insufferable bastards, confessing their apostasies led away by imperfect imposters. Above this piece, I drew Elder Oaks, punctuated by his words, encouraging men to avoid pornography, encouraging women to be modest and contrite, and encouraging the LGBT community to suffer silently. What's interesting about this piece is that a couple of weeks after I drew it, I met a woman who claims to have been molested by Elder Oaks. This is one of the first pieces I drew after all my altars fully manifested. In my 20s, my altars were more subdued. But here you can see the different handwritings and layers of expression. This piece is about Crystal Legionnaires. She's the woman who shouted out at General Conference, stop protecting sexual predators. Crystal actually has um, a dissociative disorder as well, and I think I said she is a friend of mine. This piece is about Holocaust victims and sleep paralysis monsters. You wouldn't think there would be a connection between those two, but I was haunted by sleep paralysis monsters as a child, and their aura is evil. And Holocaust victims were surrounded by pure evil. This is a Lolita-based drawing of my dad. In Lolita, Humbert says that his paradise was painted the color of hell flames, and I think that's true for all pedophiles.